With CBS 4 News traffic alert and a major project is getting underway this weekend on I-95 that is expected to last for a year. As CBS 4's Bianca Peters reports, we're talking about night closures, construction and detours to make the I safer to drive on. Well, Florida, specifically South Florida, is a beautiful place to come to live and there's a lot of people that are coming here every day. With more and more people hitting the roads each year, our highways have to change to accommodate, but there's really no quick fix. Well, we're right now on I-95. Uh, we've started a design build project that has two major components. The first uh, is uh, a safety initiative that was first announced June of last year. FDOT will begin construction on five emergency stopping sites this Sunday along the northbound and southbound lanes of I-95 Express from Northwest 62nd Street all the way up to Northwest 131st. You'll see the single lane closures first as the project will move in a northern direction for the next year. This is a safety initiative but it will have a benefit to the impact as disabled drivers will have more room to pull over or the road rangers will have an area where they can pull um, a disabled motorist over to alleviate the flow of traffic. And if you've ever been stuck in those express lanes moving at a prehistoric pace, well, most likely it was because of a disabled car or accident that could not be moved out of traffic quickly enough. That unfortunately, we saw it this morning, one, one travel lane can cause, uh, one travel lane being blocked can cause a big issue. Well, the good news about more construction is that there will only be lane closures at non-peak hours during the week and the weekends while most of you are sound asleep. Bianca Peters, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Bianca. Well, we're not going to see I-95 completely shut down because of this project. Just some lane closures overnights and on weekends. You can always check FDOT or 511 for a current list of closures, and we'll also be giving you weekly updates on the lane closures right here on CBS 4.